All right, so here we go. Round one, Trevi versus Purple Tanuki. Trevi bringing out his Bayonetta. Purple Tanuki bringing in Luigi. This is PK Sparks and the mic. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And I'll be your solo commentator while we get this uh, singles underway for you guys to enjoy on stream. Luigi coming in with that low in the low activated Luigi Cyclone. Very been popular in the Luigi meta as of lately. Just a really low offense you can put down and it also like allows you to get some horizontal movement it's just great we just cyclones is great why you had to take away the mario tornado and like just make it a down there i like, put like screw the flood make the flood like not existent give me the mario tornado and make my down air just like the drill kit but then again i guess you might as well use luigi at that point that shouldn't be. but then you know what no luigi should be getting the site the portal gust 3,000. I don't know. I, I I question too many things. I have no answer for you guys. So I'm just going to not question anything and just, you know, pretty much know what is fact. And what's fact right now is that Bayonetta is having too much fun with Luigi on that platform. And I'm surprised to see her um, not challenge Luigi up there. But then again, I, I assume that maybe with the raid, she just did not want to challenge too much. Because if she would have got grabbed instead, I'm pretty sure I backed over to take her off the ledge. But does catch Luigi off the platform and up smash the demon fist coming from coming from the ground and just taking that first stock for Trebi. I mean I'm fine if you need. I'm at the camera right here, so we love it. But um in any case. In any case, Trevi right now just really just doing the Bayonetta things. And I really thought that Bayonetta was supposed to be fit. Because it seems like she can still do the same up air jankness. That's just annoying. Whoa, that's not what you want to do at this situation. I mean, maybe he's just putting caution off to the wind. Maybe he's just like, I really need to clean this stock. So he was just putting it all out there. And I guess if that's your mentality, is that the worst one? Seeing as how you've already been lapped in percentage and you're already down by stock. I don't like you might as well throw caution to win. Maybe it'll help you out. Start allow you to start working on the next stock. A back throw from the Luigi on the ledge. Still not enough to the KO it. KO and Trebi avoiding disaster from Luigi side smash by using the, the uh, afterburner kick. Very nice. And allow and now he's oh oh the misfire the misfire missing the ledge hitting pay a net on the ledge. That is wild. That's that ten percent smashes. Oh see if if Smash had more luck in it than what it has right now, I would be um, pretty upset. Oh, yeah. In any case, shout out to Bayonetta. You guys are like wondering, like, what's Moose doing? Shout out to um, Trevi for taking that win. Not sure how he ended it, but I guess it was enough for Purple Tanuki to not want to do that matchup with Luigi again, which is weird because normally Luigi's like just pelting fireballs at Bayonetta. I didn't really see him doing any of that. Where you go? Oh, just a camera. Okay then. Um, in any case, so we have a switch from Purple Tanuki, not only to DK, but bringing it to, to town and city. And that is one of the things where D D I'm sorry, this is one of the stages where DK is gonna have a lot of fun. But the question is, Bayon uh, was it will Bayonetta be able to get the Bayonances in on him? And right now, I thought that was fixed. That's so silly. Man, I hate Bayonetta. The Bayonances is way too real. And DK being a big body, he is just prone to those combos a lot more than any other character. Well, I, I guess Bowser Bowser has a bigger body than DK. So probably DK Bowser is more prone than DK, but still. Um, DK, if you want to have a chance, you already know this man is fishing for grab up throw. He's fishing for grab up throw right now, and that's the situation that I mean that's a sticky situation because Bayonetta is constantly throwing out attack boxes that she's not. I mean he's not gonna be able to have a real chance to get the grab in. Look at him, he keeps fading back to the ledge. Oh my, caught him on the read. I'm sorry, caught him on the roll and just got that really charged up smash in. I'm sorry, Purple Tanuki going to losing the first stock. Bayonetta sitting at 69% right now. And just sharking him through the stage. There are so many characters with sharking opportunities that 9 times out of 10, you don't even want to go off stage. Please, just put your shield up. Oh, bat within. Getting out of there. But 
But in any case, uh, what is it? Bayonetta is just really just working around Donkey Kong. DK is trying his best to really... Okay. All right. I didn't think that would KO, but it worked. And whatever works, works. So the first KO, the first stock is taken. I think it's the first stock that Purple Tanuki has taken off of Trevi in this set. So... Uh, what is it? Hopefully he finally found this groove. But with Bayonetta sitting at, at 1, DK sitting at 118. Well, first of all, Purple Tanuki needs to get down from those platforms. You do not want to be under Bayonetta. Her entire game is being under you. So do not allow any opportunity for Bayonetta to get under you. You need to make sure you're all ground level with her and avoid her fair strings or her jabs as much as possible. Short hop if necessary, but you're, you're just trying to avoid the entire time. Finally getting a little bit of damage on the second stock of Trebby's. But is it might it might just be a little too late. Going for the F tilt combo. Alright, up be not leading into much. But Purple Tuki is retreating at 172%. He needs to be really careful. Oh, very solid back air. One of the things you gotta respect more Bayonetta, I have learned is that it's so fast, it's so strong, and it's so precise. So it's like when it's hit, you're you're getting knocked away. You're definitely flying. So congratulations to Trevi for going over 2-0. And we're going to be seeing him move up in the winner's bracket.